Alright, this time I got a uh, Harris motor and battery. It's a brand new one, but it's damaged, or at least it has a uh, thing right there. It's kind of like cracked already. So to open up this battery, first got to remove this tab. Has adhesive on it. Now we got to remove the stickers. Just so it won't be uh, holding the two halves uh, together. See, like this one. You can just get a knife and cut in the middle, but like to uh, get the stickers out just just to be on the safe side alright so we got that already like I said this one's already kind of like open see what kind of batteries this one has open up another one it has some LG batteries this one's they look red so they might be uh, those ugly Sanya batteries Yeah, these are Sanyo. But I hear people don't like this because they get hot. That's how you get one half of it. Now, to get the other side. There it is. Has this black stuff that sticks really hard into the plastic. Sometimes, uh, if you use something to pray uh, the battery out, uh, you could like ding the battery, and do some damage. This time it was easy to get it out, but usually it's not that easy. So we got to two. Uh, what is this? Two S four P on this configuration. Get this out. See? Two in series. I guess two in series, two parallel. It's a 8.2 volt. Alright, well there it is. After this, you know what you gotta do. Start taking out uh, the tabs out. This is how I do it. out just have little pieces there just make sure they're not sharp people use dremels or other types of uh, grinding devices to to get those things out if you're gonna spot well yeah it's good take them off if you're gonna solder like I do you don't have to just get out as much as you can once you solder on it, it won't matter anymore These are um, based on the seeker 
uh, 2.2 8.4 volts 4400 milliamp hours so yeah 2.2 amp hours this battery is right here hey thanks for watching